Okay, guys, quick, t quick tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. Just showing you guys. Um, I revised my Ranger engine, so I'm just gonna show you how that works, so you guys can build engines without gyroscopes because they stink. And I don't know about beacon sensors. That's another type of engine, but I don't use them. So this is just one slapper engine. Okay, I'm just gonna show you real quick. It works. Okay, turn it on. And I'll show you in these, um, normally, when people use rangers for engines, when you hear about rangers for engines, people are like, oh, those suck, because they'll have, like, a ranger go up to it, and they'll feel, they'll, the ranger will be like, oh, I sense something, like, right here, and they'll fire once, and then they're done to, for the whole stroke. Now, with mine, I can show you, it fires for the whole stroke, so, it's frozen. See, it's firing for the whole stroke. And it stops and it starts up again. Starts. Stops up again. You get the point. So it's a full stroke, it's a lot more power. And it's an if then statement thing. And I'm just gonna show you why it works. Basically, um you have to set your like your ranger to default zero and like ranger ten. And the if then statement will be like if the ranger hits something, anything in this case it's this block then the advanced input else zero else would be when the ranger's not hitting anything and then you hook your thruster up to this normally but since I want to be able to turn it on and off I did another if then statement so I put if this button or if this numpad input then this thing this thing controls the engine else zero so I can turn it on and off easily okay well I'm showing you this because gyroscope engines aren't that good. Don't use them. I mean, you guys can use them. I see a lot of really good players using gyroscope engines, and whenever they go up a hill, like they'll they'll be like ten times better than me. Whenever they go up the hill, they'll it'll just won't work because it's a gyroscope and it works on angles, of like compared to the gravity or something like that. But um, so use this. Um, as you see. For half the stroke, the ranger hits this, and for half the stroke, this should fire. So, you can look right here, the ranger's hitting it. Okay. Um, boom! That's, that's just right there, ranger hits it, the stroke, and it's still hitting it, the stroke starts. It goes all the way through, and it stops right at the edge of it, and then you can see it's going back up now. So it's going, boom! stop boom stop and this will work at different angles just as well upside down and it's perfect for planes so any angle and these these work just as well as any other engine but they work at different angles. and you might say hey but like the the wheel and the ranger take up a lot of space but you can you can get like a tiny prop literally like this small and get another prop like this and just a axis average axis or standard axis because it leaves a little bit of gap and spin this put a ranger like a ranger right here but you gotta make it a little low right in the middle and it works just as fine you see half the time it doesn't hit it the other time it does so it doesn't it doesn't take up that much space so just use it it's a good idea and this was just like revising my other tutorial. Um, so, comment, rate, subscribe, and Lama's out.